In the Philippines, violence against women and children are some of the most common cases reported with 15,969 in 2012. These include rape and physical injuries. RA 9262 Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act protects women who experience uh, intimate partner violence. Whether siya ay isang wife o asawa in a dating relationship o uh, hiwalay at uh, inaabuso siya ng kanyang intimate partner na pwedeng lalaki o babae, siya ay pinoprotektahan itong batas na ito. Hindi lang physical violence, violence o yung pagbububog, kasama dito yung emotional, psychological, sexual, at pati economic. Which is why the government passed RA 9262 or the Anti-Violence Against Women and Children which seeks to address the prevalence of violence against women and children committed by their intimate partners. Citizens, witnesses, depending on kapatid, kamag-anak, or neighbors who see the abuse happening to a, uh, an abused woman can actually intervene. Kasi kuminsan, yung mga babae, ayaw nila magsumbong. No, most of them uh, gusto itago, pero actually naririnig na ng mga neighbors. Kailangan i-address din yung uh, economic part. Kuminsan, they're very economically dependent on the, on the perpetrator. No? Wala silang sariling hanap buhay, so kahit na binubog sila, eco, uh, dependent sila sa income ng asawa. Kaya kung kinulong si asawa, wala siyang means of hanap buhay, kaya eventually gusto na rin niyang iparelease. However, not all cases of abuse have been reported because of fear threatened by their abusers that if they report or tell anyone, they will either hurt them or do something worse. In incidents like these, how can the government encourage women and children into coming out and reporting the abuses they have suffered? How can the government ensure the safety of women and their children? Are there any short-term remedies so that these victims can get away from their abusers? Good evening. You're watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. I'm attorney Karen Jimeno. And I'm attorney Rod Nepomuceno. Tonight, we will be discussing mm -hmm. your legal rights as a woman, what you need to know and do if you or anyone you know is experiencing abuse of any kind. Our guests for tonight are Chairperson Remedios Remy Ignacio Riken of the Philippine Commission on Women and Judge Elisa Sarmiento Flores of the Regional Trial Court Branch 71 of Pasig City. Good evening and thank you for yeah. being with us. Good evening, Judge Elisa. Thank you for inviting us. Mm -hmm. yes. Good evening, Chair Riken. Now, this is a, obviously a very sensitive topic, but it's a very important one. Very because relevant. Because uh, as I've heard, uh, we were having discussions right before, Karen, that six out of ten women in the Philippines are battered and abused. Is that correct, oh, Jerrica? Matagal na namin statistics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I think a lot of people also, don't Also, Rod, that. I think the bigger relevance of this episode or this law specifically is that a lot of women don't even know that they are abused yeah, that's sometimes, the, most of the time. That's the yeah, that's Before the coming here, I was speaking to mm -hmm. uh, a victim of mm -hmm. this uh, not only physical, sexual, emotional mm -hmm. abuse mm -hmm. with a live-in partner for 10 years. Hmm. Or even they if they have know, five kids. Or even if they know that yes. they, yes. they don't want to report it. But for the, in this case, she didn't even hmm. know that she was being repeatedly raped. Wow. Raped yeah. for 10 years. Just because mm -hmm. this was someone uh, she already considered in her mind as sort of the husband because they have five kids. Mm -hmm. She didn't know that every time she was being forced or physically abused to just have sex is already mm -hmm. raped. Right? Yeah. So maybe yeah. we could we start off with, uh, I guess, defining the vows. Maybe we'll start yes. with uh, Judge Lisa. Yes. Maybe a uh, well, lo lot of people hear this term, no? vows, V-A-W-C, which is uh, Anti-Violence Against Women yes. and Children. Can you tell us the pertinent points of this law? Well, uh, the Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children it are, it is any act or a series of acts mm -hmm. of violence committed by any person mm -hmm. against, it could be the wife, the ex-wife, living partner, dating relationship, mm -hmm. romantically linked. Uh, and then it, it produces physical, economic, psychological, and sexual violence. So, and, and, and suffering, of yes, course. Yes, of course, for, suffering. Yeah. It's, uh, it has a, mm -hmm. a short-term and long-term effect 
on the women and their children, if, if and when the children would also be the subject of vowsy. Mm -hmm. The problem yeah. is women blame themselves. Correct. Yeah. Eh, kaya naman it's... ako binugbog kasi nagar ako. Mm -hmm. oh. Nasunog ko yung ulam niya. Yes. Yes. Dumating siya, hindi pa ako nakaluto. But where do they get this? I guess mentality. I'm a bit curious. I mean, is it cultural? It's is it cultural? It's, um, it's the way women the, are supposed to be to serve your husband. Here in the Philippines. Yes, yes in the Philippines. Uh -huh. That's our culture. That's our culture, yes. so, uh, Hindi ba kapag kinasal ka? Mm -mm. Ano sinasabi ng what do the priests tell you before they let you go? Mm -mm. Woman, be subject to your husband. Mm -hmm. Husband, love your wife like mm -hmm. as Christ loves the church. Uh -huh. Iba yung turo eh. Oh, iba yung interpretation minsan. Hindi, iba yung... Doon lamang sa, sa subject, liturgy. Yeah, subject, no? or subject yourself. Minsan tinatanong nga, bakit yung belo nasa ulo ng babae? Mm -hmm. Nasa balikat, nasa balikat lang, lang ng lalaki. Eh. Interpretation ko doon eh, ang paghihirap hanggang ulo mo, hanggang, hanggang balikat pa. lang niya. <laughs> oh, wow. But, diba? Oh, wow. Yung aras, bakit silang nagbibigay ng aras? Pareho yeah. kami nagtatrabaho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yung mga ganong symbolisms, yeah. dapat palitan eh. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Kaya sabi ko sa mga ikakasal, pwede niyo palitan yan. At mm -hmm. hindi makakasal, hindi makakahindi sa inyo ang simbahan. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi naman yan ang sacrament. Yan yeah, ang yeah. liturgy. Yeah. I think it, it yes. ultimately yeah. still, is still mutual love. That's important. Mutual, mutual love and respect. Yeah. But at the same time, uh -oh. if you are too young, uh -oh. sometimes I question whether they really know what they're in, entering into. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And I think Chairman Remy, had all of these insights when she became part of the committee that drafted this law. Because it's been a long time. It took us three congresses, no? Oh. Before it was passed. Wow. wow. Now, and that's why the we... Congress is still dominated by men. men yeah. So they're probably... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> probably took but that's while, another huh? issue. That's another we issue. We should have more women in Congress and in the Senate. I totally agree. Now, <laughs> do we... <laughs> me, 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 yes. Yes. I know I'm outnumbered. I know I am outnumbered. Because you're here, outnumbered right now. <laughs> no, yes. But I, I totally mm -hmm. agree. I think uh, uh -huh. the best man for the job is a woman. Uh, mm -hmm. Really. In, in all aspects. Now, I guess, uh, what are... Maybe we can do... Uh, we can list down. I know there are a lot of acts yes. involved. No? In, whether it's providing physical or sexual mm -hmm. or emotional, mm -hmm. psychological abuse. Maybe we can run down a, a couple of examples, concrete examples for our televiewers. Uh, what would be considered? Yung parang masyashak sila? Ha? Yeah. Considered vows sure. na ba yan? Sure. Oh, ano bang uh, mga examples natin? Okay. Dyan? Under Section 5, you would see that the enumeration is from letter A to letter I. So, mm -hmm. how many? Uh, so, there are nine yeah. instances okay. of uh, considered acts of vow. violence. All right. oh, All right. Yes. So, well, the common thing is, of course, physical violence. Mm. But, you know, the mere attempt to cause physical harm. The mere attempt to fear. Yes. The mere attempt to violence. threaten. Yung that's already Yes, lang, that's diba? already yeah. violence. Oh. Or, I have may, ka ka may kaibigan ako. Ano ang ginagawa sa kanya asawa niya? Pero pag galit, ilalabasan lang siya ng baril. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that, so, I think, is both. Oh. Yeah, it's psychological, psychological and, and emotional. emotional. Ano abuse. Yes. Yes. So, wow. takot yun eh. Mm -hmm. O, magsalita ka pa. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya ginagalaw, pero ginagabasan mm -hmm. lang siya ng baril. Mag-flex ng muscles, gano'n. Uh, hindi naman. <laughs> yung, uh, flex, or let's say, just remove it. I mean, sometimes kasi... Yeah. Yeah. Well, well oh. that's, uh, if, if that a show, is uh, a, intimidating. Really, yeah, it's mm -hmm. not a joke. Parang yes, talagang, yes. Yeah. You know, uh, that Siguro, can be paano natin sa kanya yung seven? Yeah, yes, the seven. Uh, uh, Judge Lisa, okay. yeah. Have, uh, so, the first is uh, physical abuse, and then the second one is threats, and then the third one is that uh, attempting to commit physical harm, mm -hmm. and then uh, the next one, it's kind of funny, no? You know, if a guy would harm himself so that the woman would think that uh, she caused harm to the guy, that is already vow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Emotional blackmail. Yes, that's emotional blackmail. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'm cutting Pag myself, then yeah, oh, oh. yeah. Iwanan mo ako, yeah. papakamatay ako. Yes, yeah. That happens Madam to Chair. a lot, actually, okay. of even yung mga relationships, even with high school and college yes. students. Okay. Like, wow. usually if the girl tries to break up with mm -hmm. a boyfriend or mm -hmm. tries to get away from a suitor, mm -hmm. they use this, that I've heard this from other females here. Eh. Mm -hmm. The the males threaten to either commit suicide or mm -hmm. to harm themselves. Isa lang ang sagot that's ko rin eh. For oh. women out there, that's violence against yes, women. Yes. Ano gusto mo? Uh, lubid? Saksak? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We have a very Lason. strong woman Anong here. Anong gusto mo? <laughs> I, yes. I love yeah. it. Yes. Yes. Judge Elisa, I'd like to go back to what you said. Okay, now threatening harm against themselves. But something I think that also 
might be touched by this law would be what if the guy threatens to harm your favorite pet, your oh, dog, yeah. your uh, yes, yes, cat? Yes, yes. It's yes. psychological violence. Now, mm -hmm. uh, if the harassment or the, uh, like for instance, stalking, mm -hmm. if stalking. that would cause yes. the women emotional distress, say, fear, mm -hmm. then that is vowed. So that if I'm stalking my wife? Uh, yes, yes. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh. Uh, oh. And this oh. law also oh. applies to one night stands, for instance, yes. right? Or it dating does. relationships. So, for it instance, does. if um, a woman dates another guy after two dates or even just one date, she realizes, you know, this is a guy that I don't really want to be in a relationship with or I don't mm -hmm. see myself having this guy as my boyfriend. So you start avoiding this guy and this guy starts stalking you and sends you yes. creepy text messages. Yes. That's violence against you. Actually, there's already a decision by the Supreme Court. It's mm. entitled Dusan Ang versus Court of Appeals. Mm -hmm. Wherein the Supreme Court was definite that, you know, when you say dating relationship, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that there is sex involved. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. even if you go out yeah. and then you had, uh, well, you had a date and then mm. you consider yourself boyfriend, girlfriend? Oh, yes. Okay. Now, I'll have to qualify this because mm. obviously, there are a lot of men out there probably panicking. <laughs> now, if I have a, a social, let's say, drink with a casual friend mm. or let's say a, a co-worker and, and the, let's say I do any of the acts under VAUSI, would it be automatically be VAUSI or will it be a revised penal code? I mean, I have, the reason why I have to ask that is because it, it could mean two to three additional years yeah. in jail. Also, so, because yeah. the remedies are different. Like yes. for VAUSI, it's easy to get a protection order mm -hmm. compared to if you're just covered by the mm -hmm. revised penal code where you have to file yeah, a criminal yeah. case. So, so what, what, judge, how do you define, do I guess, you, is there a definitive, uh, I guess, Standard, standard at least for, 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 for that? For being you know, covered by the... We have to go back to the definition. Yeah. Of who are covered first? Yeah. Who are covered yeah. before yeah. I go yeah. by the law? Dating, by oh. the law. Okay. So yeah. if it's just casual acquaintance and there is no qualification included in the definition of vow, then that is excluded. That is not part of vow. Oh, okay. So a one-night stand would qualify as covered by vow yes, because so one of the uh, sexual act. Because that is sexual relationship. Oh, if there's a sexual relationship. Yes. What, what if it's Regardless a, date, of a dating relationship without uh, any intimacy. intercourse, intimacy? Mm. Yeah, it but depends but on the obviously, it's depends dating. On the, uh, yes, it's still covered. It's still covered. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if it's a casual, social, or let's say with a co co-worker, co yes. it, it's not. But if you ask so someone clearly for a date, and it's even if it's just two dates, yes. that's already yes. covered. Yeah, and the reason why we're... We're splitting hairs here is because again it could mean the difference of two to three or four years in jail no so you have to define because in other words what we're clarifying here is that if you're if you're dating someone or you dated someone uh even uh even casually then if you and you commit any of the acts under vowsi then you could be liable yes. under vowsi mm -hmm. which has greater penalties mm -hmm. right if i'm, yes, if I'm yes. correct mm -hmm. now if it's not if it's just a co-worker or a, a friend, you just got together with a friend and there was, you committed any of the acts in, under VAUSI, it would fall under revised penal code. But you have to qualify mm -hmm. because if you have sex with that co-worker, uh, you, you would go. already yeah, okay. you uh, enter. Okay. 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 All right. So we have some questions. Uh, and the thing is, yes, a co-worker sometimes it's a matter more of sexual mm -hmm. harassment. Ah, mm -hmm. right. Which right. will fall under an, a different sexual act. harassment kasi is in the workplace, mm -hmm. in school. No? Uh, I see. Pero uh, pag sinabi natin gender violence, yun yung may relasyon na mag-asawa yes. at sa bahay. Okay. Iba, iba talaga iba yun talaga sa yun. kailangan. Kasi iba talaga yung uh, professor to student. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Iba yun. Iba yun. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, we have some questions from our televiewers and we'll start uh, with Shirley mm -hmm. who asked, Can I file a case of VAUSI against my husband who has been having several affairs with different women? How will this help me file uh, for separation or annulment? No, I think we'll start first. Can, uh, oh, oh. Infidelity or uh, yes. habitual infidelity, is that a, a ground for uh, VAUSI? Well, well, actually, under uh, the definition of psychological violence, it is already yeah. included. Because mm -hmm. okay. you destroyed my trust in mm -hmm. you, yeah. our marriage vow. This is yeah. actually one of the things I like about this law. Because yes. before, if you're... A wife, and then you have a cheating husband. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to file a criminal uh, case against them because concubinage, which is so the only to... criminal case uh, that, that's or, sort of yeah. the equivalent of adultery, mm -hmm. is so hard to prove because oh, of the yes, elements. Yes. Yeah, you have to have sex in but scandalous with, circumstances. Yeah, but mm -hmm. with Valsi, uh -huh. you kind of have at least 
um, kind of like a criminal. It's also like yeah. a criminal offense, right? Yes, it Infidelity is. Infidelity beca becomes a. Be it becomes yeah. a type Once of psychological it, psychological uh, violence, and then you know it's the penalty is really high. It's mm -mm. Mm -hmm. How many years? How many years? Oh, how many years are we talking about? Uh, six years, one day to twelve years. Not that I will need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So um, watch out. Watch out. Yeah, okay. the, the other thing is that, yung we were able to get both desk in every barangay. Yes. Mm. At this point in time, the only thing they understand in terms of BAW is battery. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hindi pa namin sila uh, na-entertain na, 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 na yung okay. psychological. Mm -hmm. Hindi pa yun eh. Ala pa, mm -hmm. ala pa tayo yeah. dun eh. Mm -hmm. Kaya yun pa yung dapat Now, natin. Just to clarify though, uh, on this point, you, you mentioned earlier, Judge, that the, the law, the way it's worded, it's mental infidelity. Is uh, that correct? Tayo po. It's a typo. Uh, okay. It's a typo, but it's really marital. <laughs> okay. The word Because the law says yeah. mental infidelity. So basically, marital. if you're imagining... It's marital. marital. It's just typo. Okay. Okay. It's a typo. But right. it says their sexual um, infidelity as well is can be... like It's it's covered, right? It's covered it's, by uh, yeah. psychological violence. Mm -hmm. Psychological violence. All right. Okay. And to answer that last question, mm -hmm. pala, um, she cannot file a case for annulment automatically yeah. because yeah. it's not really sexual infidelity mm -hmm. is not a ground for annulment. Yes. It can be a ground for legal separation. Yes. Uh -oh. But for annulment, it yeah. has to be psychological. That incapacity. is one of our legal uh, uh, agenda uh -huh. to change the adultery uh -huh. concubinage. Yes. Because they are yeah. very yeah. unequal. Oh, oh, I totally unfair. agree with that. Correct. I yeah. really do. I, I think it's totally unfair. I agree. Right. All right. And then our Sorry. next question is from Elaine. I was in a relationship with another woman, but recently ended it when she began having jealous fits. These fits would become violent and physical. Is it possible for a f woman to file a case of vowsy against another woman? Pare, pare, Very interesting yeah. question. Pare. Yes. Pare. It's a relationship, no? It is, okay. Uh, hindi dahil related. puro lalaki lang yung may, mm. may nagbabao o nagbabay. Yeah. Even bo woman to woman. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it's why. And <laughs> sa amin, sa amin. And besides, the if you will go back to the definition, it's any person. Any person. Any so person. either male or female can commit. Wow. Okay, wow. That, yeah. That's, that's this is a really okay. more forward-looking yeah. law, right. not like a lot of no. our old laws, especially the revised penal code. Yes. It's for prostitution, only the woman can commit prostitution. Because <laughs> right. very clear sa law na a woman mm. who blah blah. Yes. Yes. So yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely time. Kaya ngayon ang tawag namin, prostituted women. Yes. Uh, because yeah. they are more victims than Correct. Yes. yes. And again, another thing I agree on. Now, Millie, Millie uh, sent us this question. My husband is working abroad and had an affair with a Pinay. This woman has been posting on social media below the belt remarks against me and personal stories about me that only my husband knows. Mm. Can I file for a case of a vowsy against her? for the psychological and emotional abuse she has put me through. So she wants to file a case against, I guess, the the woman that her husband is having but, an affair but with. But why not put them together? Uh, both, both of them? Yes. Both of them, okay. Even, yes. But if, but niya yung mga... Actually, under the law, there is conspiracy. Conspiracy, mm -hmm. yan. Okay. It, it's acknowledged under yeah. the law, di ba, mama? Mm -hmm. So, what forms conspiracy. of abuse are we talking about here? Psychological abuse? Yes. Economic abuse. Okay. Economic as well. Uh, but of course, kung other woman yan, kasama na dun sa psychological abuse, yung infidelity. Yes. Yeah. No? Yeah, infidelity. Infidelity. Or when you, uh, you isolation, mm -hmm. you question, who, sino mga kaibigan mo, ano ang binabasa mo, yeah. saan ka pupunta, yung mga ganun. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that's uh, yeah. abuse. But, okay. Yes. But we have to qualify that it should have a psychological effect on her. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It causes her distress, mm -hmm. mental anguish, so sleepless nights. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And actually, yeah. Because of our new cybercrime law, which was upheld by the Supreme Court, if this woman keeps posting mm -hmm. them yeah. online, she can actually file yeah. a case for libel yeah, as yes. well. Yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, Very interesting yes. topic. Yes. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, we'll have to take a short break uh, for yes. now. Okay. But Legal Help Desk will return after these messages. RA 9262 is a law about women 
and for women. Many believe that only married women can be victims of the violence against women and their children, or VAUSI. However, the law defines relationships which includes intimate relationships between couples, married or unmarried. Any woman survivor can file a case of VAUSI against their intimate partners, whether male or female. Dito sa law na ito, ang pinoprotektahan babae lang. At sinasabi natin uh, na by any perpetrator. So pwedeng halimbawa uh, same-sex sila. Uh, at yung babae, ina inaabuso niya yung kanyang uh, lesbian partner, babae rin, kasama po yun. Male victims of abuse are automatically covered by the revised penal code and cannot use the VAUSI law to file cases against their female partners. Sinasabi ng batas, pwedeng magsumbong siya muna sa barangay captain at yung barangay captain, lalo na kung physically abused siya, kailangan bigyan siya ng 15 days na protection order. Ngayon, kung gustong i-pursue ng inabusong babae yung kaso, so pwede siyang magsampa ng kaso sa korte at depende na kung anong klaseng uh, injury or abuse, uh, ang court ang magsasabi kung anong penalty. You are still watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. And we still have with us Chairperson Romedio Remy Ignacio Riken of the Philippine Commission on Women and Judge Elisa Sarmiento Flores. Ayan. Okay. Um, let's, you were talking about the different, uh, no, no, different acts earlier. Um, yes. And one of the interesting, I guess, acts uh, that a, 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 a man or a woman can commit mm -hmm. against another woman or, or children, for that matter, is economic abuse. Mm -hmm. the, and they're saying that there, there seems to be a belief or a lot of people are thinking that mere refusal to give mm -hmm. financial support is already grounds for VAUSI. Can you clarify this, uh, Judge Lisa and maybe Cherry? Okay, so if we would look into the definition of uh, economic abuse, it provides there that mere refusal is already vow, is already mm -hmm. violence. Mm -hmm. However, the problem is in the, when, it, when you see the penal provisions, there are lots of requisites before you can consider refusal to give support uh, as economic abuse. Like for instance, in Section 5E, you would read, you could, uh, uh, the man should attempt or compel the woman to subject the woman or the child to commit something that they would not want to do. Or illegal. Or, yes, illegal. Like for instance, the man would want to have the woman prostituted, to yeah. be a prostitute, yeah. and then the woman refuses, and then the man would say, Ah, hindi kita bibigyan ng suporta because you do not want to uh, be a prostitute for tonight. That is economic violence. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is, the second one is that when the man restricts the, or controls the mo movement of the woman or the child. Ayaw pagtrabaho. Eh. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so in other words, those conditions have to be met. And so the mere refusal uh, of giving financial support will just be a civil case, is that correct? Support. So, a case yeah. for support, mm -hmm. yeah, under the support, family right. code. All but, right. um, Judge, and of course, Chairman, there's uh, one of the remedies under the law, assuming my established that mm -hmm. there's economic abuse, uh, I think it, there's a remedy there that allows them to get support faster, uh, which is like talking to the employer to withhold mm -hmm. this part of the salary mm -hmm. and be remitted to them automatically? Well, actually, under the uh, RA 9262, yeah. there is the temporary protection order mm -hmm. and the judge could order the employer to automatically remit, deduct, mm -hmm. deduct, mm -hmm. deduct, mm -hmm. deduct uh -huh. and, and give it to the woman. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Now, that's only for a legal wife or does it also apply for, let's say, no, girlfriend, kasi, girlfriends or...? Ang problema mm -hmm. kasi sa atin sa divorce kaya hindi na... Hindi na naman papakasal, walang divorce, di ba? Hindi, mm, yeah. <laughs> <So, chill. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> kasi nga, nagsasama na lang. Mm -hmm. Kasi kumisan, kagaya ng kapitbahay namin, eh di, uh, katoliko, na, mm -hmm. oh, sige, pakasal tayo. Eh, ang gusto nila may handaan, kung mm -hmm. tayo mga kaibigan. Mm -hmm. Meantime, na wala silang pera, ayaw mo nang pakasal. May mm -hmm. mga ganung katwiran ba? Mm -hmm. Not that they are not, pero mm -hmm. I consider them married kasi, Eh, eh, anim na yung anak, di ba? Yeah. Nagsasama naman sila ng maayos. But I think, Rod, the question here would be, who is entitled to support? Yeah, yes. Because yes. if you're not a legal yeah. you're wife, a you're well, not entitled under the um, law to get support. Well, under the law, it's specific. 
legally due to the woman. Yeah. So when you say legally due, they have to be married. Yes. But if they, if have, they have children, yeah. ah, the and children that should changes also, the that changes the ah, okay. answer also. Yeah. Now, now, Chair, I'll ask uh, maybe not non-legal, but more of uh, the effects no, of, of uh, I'm sure the, behind this law, when, when you crafted the law, uh, you were thinking of the short-term and long-term effects of violence against women. Can you, can you expound on that a little bit, um, uh, 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 the impact of this? Eh, may economic impact kasi yeah. ang violence eh. Pag nag-aawa yan, nagdala yeah. mo sa ospital, may gastos sa gobyerno. Pag samasamahin mo lahat ng may anlaking gastos niya. Yeah. Kaya meron kami yung paper, the economic effect of violence mm -hmm. against women. Yeah. At the same time, yung impact din sa pamilya, yung mga mm -hmm. anak. Either na, either ang batang nakikita niya ang tatay niya, binubugbog ang nanay niya. Mm -hmm. Either na, pag lumaki yan, ayaw akong kagay ng tatay ko. Yeah. O, mm -hmm. the other side, magiging kagay siya ng tatay niya. So, mayroong second generation effect yan eh. Yeah, so, long, long term talaga. Oh, no? yeah. And that, that's the reason why we Kaya sa amin, uh, yung ba sinasabing, by all means, save the family. <laughs> what family are you talking about? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. And Chairman, how can you treat these types of side effects of uh, abuse? Mm. And of course, uh, apart from that would be, later I'll ask Judge to explain yung procedure on how to get protection orders. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, if you do find yourself as a battered woman or as an abused woman, what types of uh, agencies or NGOs can you approach what, in order to get the treatment necessary? Akin sa akin, ano? Mm -hmm. If I would like a mayor to consider your God budget niya into mm -hmm. violence against, yes. I usually send them to Cebu. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. there's an NGO here, Lihok Pilipina, si Tess Fernandez. Li Ligo? Li Lihok Pilipina. Lihok Pilipina. Yeah. Matagal na niya sinimulan yung bantay-banay. Ibig sabihin, hindi lamang isa-isang mga babaeng kausap mo, you talk to the group. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a group uh, activity. Okay. No? Like for example, in some of their areas na meron silang uh, bantay-banay, mm -hmm. pag may nag-aaway ng mag-asawa, pinapaligiran niya ng mga babae. Mm -hmm. Hinto mo yan, nandito kami sa labas. Mm -hmm. May mga ganong ah. action na... Kaya okay, gusto kong makita yan. Yes, yes. Kaya marami nang nag-imitate ng program niya. Okay. Kasi we cannot just tell women, oh, mag, uh, be careful, see to it that you're... Yes. Eh, Nag-iisa yes. yan eh. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, that's a, it is a social problem, first of all, and mm -hmm. therefore the solution is social. It has to be social, That's yeah. why LGUs must have a program. Mm -hmm. Kasi minsan, the TPO, mm -hmm. the Temporary Protection Order, is probably not sufficient. You can't have yes. a tanod there the whole time. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. And yeah, by the time the tanod gets there, baka nabubog oh. na yung babae, oh. right? Oh. I mean, realistically speaking, mm -hmm. you can't have a tanod. So it should be the whole Pero at the same time, maganda nung effect. Kasi yung mga lalaki, of course, became part of the movement. Mm -hmm. So, naging iba din yung pananaw ng mga kalalakihan. Mm -hmm. na ano. So, yeah. I, I can say na, first of all, this is not a family problem. You know, mm -hmm. yung problema namin sa ibang pulis eh. Mm -hmm. Eh, hindi namin mo pinag-aaway. Yes. Kasi, ka, for a uh, problem ang mag-asawa. Uwi na lang kayo. Mm -hmm. Uwi na lang kayo. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's the good thing about this type of episode as well as an information drive. It's not only to let women know what acts constitute abuse, mm -hmm. but also for men to know what yes. acts constitute mm -hmm. abuse so yes. that they don't they do they it. Avoid, yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's this mentality, the Tanod saying, oh, it's a domestic fight. Because for them, mm -hmm. they don't know that it is an abuse that is mm. considered criminal yeah. under It's a community concern. Mm. Yeah. It's a community concern. So if you have yeah. guys there knowing that well. certain acts are also criminal, then they mm -hmm. won't do it to their partners, to their mm. wives, or to their Kaya dating ano, eh, partners. Kaya meron kami yun, move men against, uh, opposed to violence against women. Men? Men opposed to opposed violence. To it's a movement of men okay. mm. to talk to other men. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Men. Oh, that, that, that's perfect. Yeah. And, so, uh, no. oh, okay. oh, go ahead. Ah, sige. Finish mm -hmm. that first. I no, don't... well, I was just going to ask uh, uh, regarding, uh, of course, we have the VAUSI, which is a relatively new law. Uh, and, but prior to that, we had the revised penal code, which, which punishes most of the acts that are already indicated mm -hmm. uh, in, in VAUSI. But I guess VAUSI provides for harsher penalties, yes. stiffer penalties. But what, what was uh, not in the revised penal code, or what is not in the revised penal code, that is in Bausi? There are so, lots. Okay. Lots and lots. Oh, perfect. And okay. you are so happy. Because <laughs> okay. okay. finally, it's mm. uh, already recognized. Well, well, one thing is, the RPC does not provide psychological violence. Mm -hmm. And then it does not provide for economic violence or abuse also. And uh, another thing is, the mere attempt 
to commit physical harm, it's already punishable. And then another thing, if, if the man would blackmail the woman, that he will harm himself, yeah. yes, that is also not blackmail. part yeah. of uh, the RPC. So that is the beauty of uh, 9262. Yeah, and I think this is a good opportunity to talk about the remedies. I mean, what you can do to get mm. that protection order because this is also something that was not in the revised mm. penal code, yes. or even mm. in the family code. So yeah. the maybe most immediate judge, one is, uh, yeah. this is something that you can explain to okay. a lot of the victims out there. So we have different kinds of uh, protection. protection. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One is the barangay protection order. Uh, and then the second one is the temporary protection order and the permanent protection order. The barangay protection order is issued in the barangay where the uh, victim resides. Yes. And it's good for 15 days. The barangay captain issues it. And the order is uh, for the perpetrator or the respondent, the guy, to stop further yeah. harming um, yeah. or threatening. And it could be texting or calling. Yeah. So, tigilan na yung pananakot, tigilan na yung pananakit. Now, the concern that we get from the barangay is that it's only good for 15 days. Mm -hmm. So it's non-extendable. And there are only two acts of violence that is covered by the, the barangay protection order. Uh, the that is one, physical violence, and the number two is the threats. The threats. Yes. Mm -hmm. but, so, after, uh, if you would see economic, psychological, sex, while well, you go to court, mm -hmm. where you could file the temporary the protection order. I see. Now, under the court naman is the temporary protection order. It's good for a period of 60 days. And then, uh, if you want to extend it, you have to file the permanent protection order. You have to see it mm -hmm. through. But the good thing about this barangay protection order and TPO, it's ex parte. No hearing. No hearing. Uh -huh. No mediation. Yun yung sinasabi ni Madam Chair kanina na yung mga barangay, pag-aharap-harapin pa yan. Ito wala. Oh, ito immediate. wala. Immediate. immediate. Oh, it should be immediate because good. the concern is immediate. Yun ang, yun, doon kami nahihirapan ituro ito sa barangay. Kasi yung barangay, ang kultura niyan, conciliation. Yes. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, there is this law, huwag mong pagbabatiin ng mag-asawa ang <laughs> nag-aaway. Oo, oh, oh. protectan mo. Para, Protect mo, oh, hindi huwag oh, mong pagbatiin. Yun, yun. Oh. Kailangan talaga sa loob nila yun eh. Okay. We still, we still have some questions from our viewers. Uh, Francis asked, I filed a vowsy case against the father of my son for not supporting him. I addressed it to our office because we work for the same company. Mm -hmm. I knew he received the sabina already and I found out that he ignored the two letters from the prosecutor's office. What will happen to him if he doesn't answer the subpoena and if he doesn't show on the scheduled hearing? Okay. Yeah, judge? Okay. Uh, when we conduct, uh, because I was a former prosecutor, we usually have cases wherein the wives would file a economic abuse case against the husband and uh, the husband would not appear during the preliminary investigation. Eh, preliminary pa lang naman yan eh. So what we do is that, we look into the documentary evidence submitted before our office and determine whether there is probable cause. If there is sufficient uh, or pieces of evidence to engender a well-founded belief that a crime has been committed. And if the respondent is probably guilty thereof. So we file if there is sufficient evidence. If not, we could also... Uh, dismiss the case. Mm -hmm. So that's the okay. one that we are talking about mm -hmm. earlier about mm -hmm. economic abuse. If it's purely support without the other elements, that then it should be yes, civil, civil case. case. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. so, all right. The mm -hmm. other problem is, eh, kaibigan ako na anong di ko na lang sa sabing kasi yes, ma'am. Nagin na item. Ano siya? Ano siya? Ah, ang abuse niya hindi nga makita kasi ang hirap explain si tao na. Ako ay economically yes. abused, psychologically abused. Kaya ang gusto ko kaibigan, sana suntukin lang niya ako ng misan. Suntukin lang niya. <laughs> Para meron agad na meron. Meron, meron agad na meron. Meron agad na meron. Meron agad na meron. Ay tulak lang, di ba? Yes, yes. 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 And the TPU also allows you to keep the husband or live-in partner out of the house, right? You have two options actually in the prayer protection yeah. order. One option is if you want to keep the house, you can stay in it. And then the other one is if you want to leave the house, you could leave. Now, if you want to stay, then there is the order for the guy to, to leave to, to leave. vacate the house. Uh, yes. Okay. And if you want to stay in the, if you want to go out of the house because there's so much trauma, yeah, yeah. the fighting happened there, and you do not want to uh, recall the incident, you could get whatever you want from the house, mm -hmm. including the car. Including the car. Yes, wow. that's part of the uh, that's part yeah. of the provision of 9262. Kung ayo, kung di mo ma 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 take yung nangyari sa you don, 
Pero may kaibigan din ako na... Initials, initials. Ang mga nakausap po. Ang nakausap po. Ayan. Sasabihin lang, umalis ako sa bahay, tapos naalala ko, akin pala yung bahay, ba't ako aalis? Kasi bumalik sila. Pinaalis naman nila. Pinaalis yung... O, yun, ganun. Kasi nga, ganun yun eh, di ba? That's the price of being abusive. Be careful, yan. Our next question is from Emma. I have filed for a case of Vowsy for economic abuse three years ago, but nothing happened. I now want to revive the case and include psychological and emotional abuse. My question is, do I need to file another Vowsy case to include psychological and emotional abuse? Baka nakalimutan na yung judge yung three years ago. The question is quite vague, not yet. Where did it stop? Did it stop in the fiscal's office, the prosecutor's office, yeah. or in the court itself? But, all right, let's, uh, let's try to digest mm. uh, her situation. Yeah. If the case, actually, uh, in the fiscal's office, is, it's either they file it or they dismiss it. Yeah. Now, if they file it and it, it's already in court, now, if the complainant or the wife or the victim neglected coming, neglected coming, coming. and then it could be provisionally dismissed. Mm. Now, for a period of two years, and if you will not act on it, if you will not ask for the revival of the case, then it will be permanently dismissed. Mm. So there's no more case yeah. to talk about. Mm. So she has to file Baka a case. She, she, yeah. she can refile the man. Yeah, she could. Yeah. For the psychological. Uh, is there a prescriptive period, but by the way, for uh, Valsi? Actually, prescriptive, wala, 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 wala. So you mean, even if, for instance, you were physically abused? Bawdes, rights kasi yan eh. Ang rights walang prescriptive, di ba? Oh, I see. Alright, okay. Now, Bill is asking, my wife filed a psychological violence case against me last 2007. I just surrendered voluntarily last month, so the warrant of arrest against me will be lifted. The judge scheduled a hearing this April. I talked to my wife, and she said that She's no longer interested mm -hmm. in the case. I asked her to file a desistance, but she said that she's too busy. I'm going to attend the hearing. <laughs> what will happen if she doesn't show up? Okay, what happens then? She's no longer, inter she's no longer interested to uh, no pursue longer it. Interested, yeah. But she's too busy to... I'm sure she probably found the guy. Actually, what we have in court are situations where in nang aasar. Uh -huh. Asara na lang tayo kasi uh -huh. ayaw mo na maibigay ko ano yung gusto ko hingiin sa'yo. Uh -huh. But in this case, you know, Bill, this is my advice to you. You attend the court hearings and if and when your wife would not attend, they would you, dismiss the you case. can ask for the provisional dismissal of the case. So, provisional dismissal, again, after two years and there is no action on the part of the wife to have it again uh, revived, it's going to be uh, permanently dismissed. But Bill, just a point. There's no prescriptive period. <laughs> no, no, the, the thing is, so what so, happens to you? Huh? Are, are you still in love with your wife? Hindi, hindi oh. mali na. Oh, oh, malabo nga pala. Oh. Oh. Inanan na lang natin. Oh. 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 Let's assume it. Yes. Na, no. okay. And now we have a caller on the line. Oh, Ooh, okay. Diba? Meron pa pala kayong oh, wife ko dito. There's already okay. a judgment. Do we have a caller? A question from a caller? There is a... Okay, okay. hold on. So uh, I think oh, we the had a caller, caller just okay. read the question. Okay. There's already a judgment for for the husband to support his children, but he still did not give anything. Will this fall under Vowsy? Okay, so we have to clarify first, what kind of judgment is that a civil case for support? Because if you will not follow a judgment, then you can be charged for contempt. Mm -hmm. But the problem with contempt is that it's going to be a separate case and it will be filed. But you you can have it consolidated. But yun nga, medyo hassle lang. Mm -hmm. Pero ang, ang punto kasi dyan is... Again, uh, does it cause psychological? Yeah, as you said. Uh, psychological harm on you? Because there is a provision there. Uh, I think it's in uh, Section 5i, where in even if, you, uh, if the non-support would cause you psychological distress, mm -hmm. then that is also a ground for mm -hmm. wow. That's also this one, in this case, a judgment, na, mm -mm. and then I'm still not going to get my, oh. my, ma my support. Oh. Oh. Lang, so Tapos sleepless cause. night ka. Yes. Good cause, yeah, yes. sleepless night. Yeah. But uh, for that specific judgment that already exists, mm -hmm. can the court order a lien on the properties? Meaning, can they uh, basically uh, uh, confiscate in that sense? I mean, to explain the word lien. Yes. Para, para ma-apply uh -huh. para mabigyan ng support. Kung may mga kotse naman pala to, oh. or bahay, then they can go after those Perhaps properties. Perhaps she, uh, she should go to her counsel, their mm -hmm. lawyer, 
and mm. to ask for a writ of execution. Mm. Oo, para ma-execute naman yung judgment, hindi mm. yung judgment na nanalo ka, papel lang. Oh, Paano oh, yung oh. actual talaga? Yes. Tapos, no, can, can... Ang, ang lahat ng anak mo nasa iyo. Oo. Oo nga. Nanalo ka talaga ganun. Ano, yes. Mahirap nga naman. Mm -hmm. Now, can I file, uh, we have we had some cases here where, where the women seem to be lazy, no? hindi nila tinutuloy. Mm -hmm. But uh, what if you're very zealous naman and uh -huh. then you, file, you want to file Vowsy, you want to file under the revised penal code, and you want to file civil damages. Uh, I can, I can, I was nabugbuga ko, I'm a woman, binugbuga ko, and I was also, I also suffered psychologically. I'll, I'll, I'll go for him, uh, against him psycholo uh, for psychological violence, uh, Vowsy, and the physical violence, the revised penal code, and, and, and have civil damages as well. Pwede ba yun? Sabihin ng judge, please focus. Oo. So, kukonsolidate yan. Oo. Kasi yung ginagawa namin, if we conduct a preliminary investigation, we see to it that what offense, what particular offense, para pagdating sa court, baka mga technical pa tayo, madismissan pa tayo. Parang you are covering all your bases. You are covering all your bases, yeah. Okay, we just make up our minds. Ano ka ba? Sa ano ba gusto i? Kasi you have to consider double jeopardy. Yes, that's another thing. But hypothetically though, that it's possible that she can yes, do that. Yes, it's yeah. possible. But not advisable. Oh, but not advisable. advisable. All right, all right. Okay. Okay. Very interesting topic. I wish we had more time. Okay. Right. This is at least two hours. Yeah. yeah. It's really but right now, yeah. well, we have to take another short break. But before we go, we, we have to thank our okay. guests. Yeah, extension, chair. extension. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, Chairperson yeah. Remy. Yeah. Well, thank it's Women's Month. I'm happy to be here. Thank yes. you, Chair. <laughs> and thank you for being part of this very good law. Mm. Very good law to Fantastic protect law. women and their children. Thank mm. you so much. Yeah. And of course, and of course, Judge Lisa. Thank of you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so welcome, much for being welcome. here. My, well. Our pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you for joining us. And Legal Help Desk will return with a recap, so stay tuned. You are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. We had what a very, yeah, very interesting discussion on, so sad. of course, this right. Oh, oh, but I guess sad. that's yeah. recap, especially for yeah. our women viewers out there. Mm -hmm. Even the men. I think this is a very important episode because knowing the acts which constitute violence against mm -hmm. women and their children would also educate men out there to avoid these acts. Mm -hmm. One, you, this law covers all women even those who are not married or in just uh, dating relationships mm -hmm. or intimate relationships so even mm -hmm. with a co-worker if you sleep with your co-worker and then afterwards you harass her or physically abuse her or mentally abuse her by sending them um, messages that taunt mm -hmm. them or if you stalk them then you're exactly. covered by this law you threaten them no like guys uh, even as simple as sending a text message a, let's say a picture of uh of your let's say your girlfriend or someone you're you're dating and it's a picture that tends to i guess em embarrass her or or, or put her psychological, in, uh, or cause psychological uh, i guess disturbance you no know, mm -hmm. uh, psychological suffering guys you can be subject to the vowsy law so this is a very strict law very serious uh law and if you have a uh, if you have moms if you have sisters or, and if your wife of course think about them now before you do these things uh so that uh you know any in, in other words just to be safe anything that will cause any kind of suffering for for women and children you have to be really careful and, and um, yeah to all the women out there a lot of siguro non-traditional forms of violence that you should be aware of that is covered by this law is one even if the guy you're dating or your husband or your live-in partner or boyfriend threatens to abuse themselves, meaning if they say that if you leave me, I will kill myself or I will hurt myself, tapos uh, sinasaktan or nagkakat ng, nag, nag, mm -hmm. make ng mga injuries in front of you, that's a form of psychological abuse and you can report them under this law or you can file a case against them under this law. Mm -hmm. And even if they hurt your favorite pet, your yeah. dogs, your cats, that's also a form of abuse under this law. Mm -hmm. And Karen, uh, and uh, just to point out also, if, uh, for example, 
uh, a, a wife or a girlfriend is forced by her uh, a husband or boyfriend to watch pornography. That's that's also yes. that's also part of psychological suffering. Yes, uh, and so to everyone against your will, of course. Yes. if you like it, oh, then oh. and being you know, forced to yeah. have sexual intercourse is also, also a force yeah. of abuse, yeah. even if you're married. So yes. take note, guys. Yeah. And then yeah. lastly, it's easy to get remedies under this law. Uh, you can go to the barangay where you can get a barangay protection order which lasts for 15 days mm -mm. or you can go to court and get uh, a temporary protection order or a permanent protection order. Yeah, no. yes. And there are a lot of hotlines now and I think it's, it's always oh. good to, to check. I think uh, our guest earlier was Mentioned with the, yeah. Lihok, yeah, Lihok, Lihok, Lihok Pilipina. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. So and, uh, uh, basically if you're abused you don't have to rely just on the law or the protection orders that you can get. Uh, look out there because there are a lot of NGOs or even um, associations which will help you to mm. make sure that you're yeah. protected and you're uh, taken mm. away from whatever violent mm. environment mm. you're in. Yeah, the VAW hot hotlines are now on your screen so you can you can check out, take note of those numbers. Oh, oh. Yeah, the PNP, Women's of course, Center. the Women's Crisis Center, the NBI. Mm -hmm. Of course, your nearest barangay is your yes. first. Uh, level of protection. Yes, All right. and Chairman so, yeah. Remy mentioned the one in Cebu. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So thank you for that, and thank you to our guests. Now this is the part where we try to answer questions sent by our viewers on topics we previously uh, covered here in Legal HD. Let's start with Richard, who asks: I am an online seller selling products from the U.S. as an exclusive distributor. Can we file legal action against our competitors who are selling the same items but are not exclusive distributors like us? I think this is a contractual. Mm -hmm. uh, issue, no? So I think if you have an exclusive contract with your with your principal, then you can file a case against him uh, for for breach of contract, mm -hmm. because if he had authorized these other distributors uh, to sell uh, the the product that supposedly you you have uh, exclusively, so I think it's a breach of contract. So absolutely, I think you can file a case. Uh, of course, that presupposes that you have a contract, right? oh, or that the distributor. Mm. gave him the right to be the exclusive distributor and in spite of that gave the same product to be distributed by other people. By other people all right. Yeah, so check your contract check first. Your, yep. Mm -hmm. And Mark sent us this question. My aunt bought a lot in a subdivision without knowing that the property was pawned to another person. The seller didn't tell her about this. Mm -hmm. My aunt bought the property in good faith, but the person to whom it was pawned to is filing a case against her. What are the odds that she will be held liable for this? Mm -hmm. So it was already seller, sold. Seller but I pay. think the proper term mm -hmm. here is mortgage. Mm -hmm. Una una, can you check first the contract where you said pond? Pond is not the correct term because when you're talking about real estate or land or real property, Sinang it has to be covered by a real estate mortgage mm -hmm. in order for it to be valid or enforceable against people like your aunt. So if it's just sinangla, pero yung document is not, does not comply with the requirements of a real estate mortgage, meaning it has to be a real estate mortgage contract that's notarized and registered with the Register of Deeds. If it does not comply with any of those requirements, then basically your aunt mm -hmm. has really the better right. But mm -hmm. in the first place, the sale of your aunt, if it was prior to the mortgage, prior to dun sa pagsasanla, then she also has a better right, regardless of whether this real estate mortgage contract really exists. I mean, even mm -hmm. if it's uh, compliant mm -hmm. with the law. Yeah. If your aunt bought it first and was able to register that sale, then she has a right to that land apart mm -hmm. from this yung Yeah. In this yeah. case, there was a seller in bad faith, talaga, no? Kasi naka, mukhang she had, I guess, in, mm -hmm. in local parlance, parang sinang, sinang la niya yung lupa. With, yeah. But I don't think it's the proper way, but it wasn't the proper way of, mm -hmm. of really, uh, uh, I guess, of putting a putting lien, a lien or, on yeah. that. Uh, uh, all right, so we only have a couple of minutes left. We're in the tail end of our program. We'd like to thank, uh, again, our guests earlier who were with us, uh, as, as, as well as all the viewers who sent us their questions via phone and social media. I'm attorney Rod Depomoceno. And I'm attorney Karen Jimeno. If you have any questions on our topic for tonight, share them with us on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Join us again next Monday as we discuss your legal rights. Good night.